Hello everyone, welcome back to Frank's concept videos. In this video, we'll be talking about problem 10. So yeah, let's get started. Given the following prop, given that the following proposition is true, so there exists an X such that not PX and QX, which of the following below must, which of the following, which of the propositions below must also be true? Okay, so looking at option A, we have there exists an X such that PX or there exists an X such that QX. And so immediately we know that this is gonna be true. And the reason is because of this part. So there exists an X such that QX. Why do we know that this is true? Well, it's because we know that, okay, so we know that there exists an X such that not PX and QX. So like what I'm saying is like, so let's say the domain of X is people, right? So, so let's say for this person, uh, let's say it's me. Let's say for me, not P Frank and Q Frank. Right, so for this given X, not PX is true and QX or QX and well, where X is Frank is true. So like it's equally valid if I say, right, that there exists an X such that QX, right? Because like, because I'm also an example where QX is true, right? So like this, there exists an X such that QX is just a consequence of this, this, this entire thing being true. Um, and that's also because that this part is an and. That it's also because this is an and that we, we are able to say that. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So for that reason, option A is correct. Okay, so looking at option B, so we have not for all X, not PX, and qx okay so this one's pretty interesting so for this one we this is still matching right so this this is this is still the same um the only thing that's different is that this outside part right so in in the proposition that we're given we just have there we just have their existent x and in this one we have it not not for all x and so are these two equivalent or not equivalent this, can we logically deduct this after knowing this? And so the answer is actually going to be no. Because if we, if we, okay, so if we keep going with this one, if we have this not for all x, not px and qx, right, so this is going to be equivalent to there exists an x such that not, right, not px and qx right, but we don't actually know if this is going to be true or not right? all we know is that there is, is good, there's going to exist an x such that px oops, sorry all we know is that there's going to exist an x such that not px and qx but we don't really know if like we don't really know if there's going to be an x such that not and then not px and qx so if that still doesn't make any sense i can let me keep writing this out Okay, so like we know that there exists an X such that not PX and QX, but we, we can't really say anything about this, right? Like, okay, sure, we know that, okay, there might be a person Frank such that, you know, Frank doesn't satisfy the, pro the predicate P, but he does satisfy the predicate Q. But in this case, we, we can't really say anything about this, right? Okay, so for that reason, answer choice B is not correct because we do not necessarily know if it's true or not. So hopefully that makes sense. Okay, just erase all of this. Okay, well, let's take a look at C. So there exists an X such that not PX and there exists an X such that QX. Okay, so let's think about this. So what is this thing? Well, this is just saying there is one person or like where let's say the, the domain of X, like, or like domain, of discourse, oops, discourse for X, it's like all people. Right, so like if the domain of discourse for X is all people, like this is this is basically, basically saying there exists a person such that not PX. Okay, so, okay, that's, that's great. Well, we found a person that, 
satisfies this, right? Oh, like Frank satisfies this. Right? And that's because we know that Frank does not satisfy the predicate P. And right? so we're looking for someone who does not satisfy the predicate P. Awesome. So um, this is good. And then so when we look at this part, there exists an X such that QX. Well, hmm. Well, well, that's great because Frank also satisfies this, right? Because like we, we also know that Frank satisfies the predicate Q and we're looking for the predicate Q or someone that satisfies the predicate Q. So that's perfect. Like we can just reuse Frank for both of these. So in this case, th these two axes can be the same, can be the same person. Um, so just to reiterate, in the first part, we're looking for someone who does not satisfy the predicate P. And that's perfect because Frank does not satisfy the predicate P. Right? And then and then for the second part, we're looking for someone who does not who we're looking for someone who does satisfy the predicate Q. And that's also perfect because Frank also satisfies the predicate Q. Okay, so for that reason, answer choice C is also correct. Okay, let's look at answer choice D. Okay, so answer choice D says that there exists an X such that not PX or QX. Well, this is also going to be true, right? Because Frank is also an example such that right, not PX is true, not P Frank is true, or QX, Q, Q Frank is true. Like in this case, we know Frank satisfies both of these, right? We know that it's both true that he doesn't satisfy the, the P predicate and he also satisfies the Q predicate. But this or it just means that we need one. And in fact, we have both. So this is going to be satisfied. Okay, so now looking at answer choice E, we have some completely different predicates here. Um, but anyways, we're saying for all X, not RX or RX. Okay, so let's think about this. Not RX or RX. So I'm gonna argue that this, is, that this, that this statement is actually true. And so the reason is because RX like if we think about Rx for any arbitrary x, this is either this can either be true or false, right? For any given x, Rx is going to be true or false. And so if Rx is true, that means that means that means that this entire or statement is true, right? Because Rx is true. Likewise, if Rx is false, that means this part that means not Rx is going to be true. If not Rx is true, that means this entire inside part is going to be true. So that means no matter what, for every single x, like rx is either going to be true or false. And regardless, that just means that this entire inner part is going to be true for every single x. So for that reason, option E is also correct. So now that we've concluded this, we have reached the conclusion that answer choices A, C, D, and E are correct. Awesome. I hope to see you guys in future videos.